Okay. Good morning. My name is Teresa Smith and I worked with Joanne for two months uh, last year coming up to Christmas. So I thought I'd just pop on and do a review of um, what that was like and what brought me to her and where I am now. So just over a year ago, I got the diagnosis of having rheumatoid arthritis. And I went down the route of diet. I went down the route of supplements. I went down the route of sitting in meditations. I, you know, I, I, I did all of those things. And then I come across like TMS, so my body work. And when I got the diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis, they wanted to put me on metatrexin and steroids because my hands were like, they were like clawed in and walking on my feet was like glass. It was really, really painful and it come on very quickly. But there was just something in me that just knew that that wasn't, it wasn't my path. Like there was a, there was a reason that I had this. There was a reason that caused, it was a root to it, a seed to it as such. And I knew that just taking the, the, the medication was going to one, do its own harm on me. Steroids would do its own harm and taking the metatrexin would do its own harm on me, but it was not going to cure it anyway. You know, it would mask it for a little bit and then we'd have to up doses and then we'd have to change stuff. And then I'd have stomach liners because it would affect my stomach. And all of that just did not sit with me. And I come from a, um, a, a background of yoga and meditations anyway. And so I have quite good body awareness. But certain events had led me to this sea, should we say. And I just needed to figure out what that was. So... I chose not to take the medications. Um, so I never took any medications from her other than a couple of paracetamols sometimes. And after exhausting myself through research and after exhausting myself through diet and supplements and trying to half my work and actually, yeah, that did actually play a part in some of my healing. I would say I was getting sort of like 70%, 65%, 70% better. But there was just, it was never... It was never going to get any better. It just wasn't progressing any more than that. And then obviously come across TMS and mind body syndrome. And it made sense to me, you know, it made sense that diet is important. Yes, because my body functions really well when I eat really good homegrown, home cooked food. Yeah, absolutely. If I was to live on McDonald's and KFC like every day for a week, my body would feel rubbish. So food always will play a part having um, your life, you know, come down 50% in speed is always going to make anything feel better because you get pockets of pieces, I call them small moments of just being able to breathe, come back into your body, you know, so, but there was something missing. And I'd studied a little bit into the nervous system. And I understood about the fight flight syndrome and freeze mode. But what got me to Joanne was she contacted me on, on a group. Um, and we just sort of chatted a bit, a little bit like that. And I really liked her. And I knew that I needed to work with somebody in the mind-body industry. I needed to work with somebody that had walked the walk, that had had the chronic pains, whether that would be chronic fatigue, fibromyalgias, whether that would be eczema, whatever it is, all these autoimmune conditions that apparently are incurable. I needed somebody on the other side that could just support me as I was going through it so I'm incredibly motivated so I don't need somebody to tell me what to eat not to eat I don't need somebody to give me a g to get up in the morning to do my 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 chi flow or my meditations or whatever it is that I was going through but I needed somebody that on the days where I just went oh god I don't know if I could do this anymore or is this actually working you know like is this my nervous system? The days I had the doubts and the days that I needed that, I needed a coach or somebody that would just be able to um, walk me through it. And that's what I got from Joanne, you know, from the weekly calls I had with her, but the text is in between. I had this really locked into my head that because so many of the autoimmunes say that um, it's the disease starts within the gut and that um, to avoid you'll come across like the AIP diets if you've if you've been down this route of eggs they're cutting out eggs and grains and um beans and you cut out uh, 
gosh, you cut everything out. You cut sugars out, wheat out, dairy out, gluten out, yeasts out. You cut like everything out. And because I've gone down that route for so long, I had created this like fear with food that, um, say for an example, if my, my, my joints were like a little bit stiffer the next day, I'd be, oh my God, was it because I had egg? Or maybe it's because I had rice, you know, or, or, or maybe it's because I had a cup of tea, you know, and, and, it, and my brain was very smart. It was like latched onto that, that, okay, it's food causing this. And I needed somebody to help me through that. So on the days that maybe I felt a bit stiffer, um, Dram would be there on message to just go, it's not because you had an egg yesterday. What's happening is that you have either had like really, really busy day or I can get quite overwhelmed if I'm with people for too long. My, my nervous system, right from little, I've needed a lot of time on my own. I love to be with people, but I love to be on my own. So she'll just be, okay, what's going on in the last day? And I'll sort of say, she'll go, okay, your nervous system now, or because you're latching on thinking it's because something you've eaten, you've gone into panic, fear, flight mode. And so what we need to do is we need to do your soothing techniques, which she teaches the techniques to do that once that suit you, to just bring me back down, bring me back down. So then once you're out of that, oh my God, is it because I had, um, I don't know, rice? And then what she started to do then was actually teach me for, because I would soothe and be able to come down and then my pains would come down was I built up a trust with food and I started to really believe in the mind-body connection. I started to really see that this was my nervous system and I could see then through going through my past at different ways that this had come out before RA where, you know, I'd had like some IBS stuff, but I thought, oh, it's because I had a C-section and I had antibiotics and it upset my gut lining. And then before that I'd had skin issues and okay, you're just a teenager, but actually it's all different ways of the mind-body um, manifesting through you, you know, so then have to work with some childhood stuff and shift that and start to build new neural pathways in the mind. So after two months of working with Joanne, I was pretty good with like, okay, it's not food. And I've got the self-soothing techniques that I needed. And I've got, I've got the foundation and now I feel I can go on my own. Um, what else can I say? So, so where, where was I? Before I met Joanne, um, I was still having a lot of joint pain. And actually through the process of working with Joanne, I did have a lot of pain coming up because I was allowing feelings that to come up. I wasn't burying them so much. So there were times where I did have more pain, but she was always there then to go, okay, this is okay. This is normal. This is just the steps that go in. Just keep going. This is happening for you. So you can see this. She was very, very calm all the way through. Um, where am I today? I'm doing really well today. I'm doing really well. So I'm eating all foods now, all foods in moderation, but I'm, I'm eating all foods. Um, I have a coffee every day now as well. Um, I'm much more aware of my fins and emotions. So I'm not, I'm not scared to, to, to feel them. And I also know that say for any day, if I am having some stiffness and that, that's just my 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 nerve system's way of speaking to me my body's way of speaking to me to go okay we need to work a little bit more in this area or this isn't quite good for us so I'm still on the healing journey and the healing path with this um you know like um my foot the last couple of days one of my foot has been a bit sore but you know when you think about the fact that my hands were clawed in and I couldn't pick a kettle up or even open a cupboard in the morning and it'd take me like an hour or more of rubbing my hands to get them going to where I am now, I completely let go of teaching yoga. And yoga has been in my life for 20 years. I now teach Chi Flow, which is part of like Qi Gong. So my business has completely changed. Um, I'm working my two days a week and managing that fine with all my head, my joints and my hands and hope to in, in, um, kind of up that after the summer holidays. Um, I've got freedom. I think that's it. Like I was in a food prison for a long time. And I was in a fear prison of fearing of the pain or fearing of it getting worse. And then I was in a doubt prison of like, I have a doubt of, I couldn't heal this. That I had a doubt and fear that I would be on medication and that I would end up in the wheelchair. And I don't have that now. I fully believe, I fully believe where I'm going in the right direction. I fully believe that I will absolutely heal from this. And I'm loving my life more. So. If you are curious about, you know, the mind body syndrome, if you don't want a life on medications and it doesn't matter I don't, what it is, whether it's like I said, whether it's, do you suffer with chronic migraines or fibromyalgia or rheumatoid arthritis or 
whatever it is is your thing it's just different manifestations from the mind um and i believe that once we start to actually look at releasing the anger or the fears or the doubts and if you have somebody with you on your journey even if it's just for a couple of months just to have that person there in the background to go okay this is the next step or this is okay this, this is happening or let's just move you in this direction now so if you need that then I definitely recommend um Joanne for you so sending you lots of love on your healing journey and um yeah good luck <laughs>